Hi all, it's Ryan from Planetary Lapidary, and today I'm going to show you guys in my video um, some of the stuff that I've been working on the last couple months. I figured before I show you how I process my stones down from raw stone to finished piece, I would show you some of those finished pieces. So without further ado, here we go. So how I started out doing lapidary work is basically I ordered jewelry settings, um, just ones I like the look of, you know standard sizes 30 millimeter 25 millimeter ovals bracelets and then i just started cutting the stones to fit the settings it just seemed the easiest way to start doing things in this range you know it's easy to learn how to cut hard shapes first rather than learn that later so so i'll go over some of the stuff i've been doing first of all i got bangled bracelets here um and I don't know if you'll be able to tell that great from the video, but this bottom one is a pink carnelian. You can't really tell how pink it is in the video, I don't think. And this next one's a stromatoporoid. And I'm not going to say stromatoporoid a million times. So when I say stromat, that means stromatoporoid. That's the, the fossils that are super old. So that's a stromat. That one is. You can kind of tell how different they are from each other. Like even just from these pieces. Another stromat there. And another one there. Then we have some 30 millimeter uh, stones in settings. Um, a straw mat, another nice looking straw mat. This is like a fossil soup, I kind of call it. It's stromatoporate on the outside, and then there's some fossil jasper on the left side of it. And then this one, I believe, is just a really cool looking mudstone. All the cool layers in there, some reds and whites. I might be wrong. It might not be mudstone. It might be something cooler, but I'm not exactly sure. And we got some 25 millimeter stones. Nice straw mat there. And another really cool looking mudstone. Didn't really look like that when I started working it, but that's how it ended up. Really cool. And we got some big ovals. Um, this bottom one is a brushated jasper. This middle one is a big piece of straw mat and it's got some pitting in there. I actually like when it gets the pitting in the middle like that. It gives it some character, I think. And then this is another fossil soup up here. It's just got a really cool quartz pocket going through some jasper on the right side there. And I got some free sanding stuff. Um, these are little standing stones. This is a straw mat. Pretty cool. Kind of see the cross sections of it. Another one there. As you can tell, those two were just totally different from each other. And then I just started going into um, some freeform stuff and then wrapping it with wire. So the first couple pieces are here. This is the first piece. That's a sweet piece of porphyry that has some limonite or something gold in there. And then this was a straw mat piece that I did, the second piece. I really like how they turned out. And then here's just another one of those mudstones. Kind of see a little better on this one, just the little lines in there. Pretty cool. So yeah, so that's some of the stuff I've been working on. Um, the newer stuff, like this stuff, I'm making the stones. And then I'm not gluing them into the setting. So if somebody would want a certain stone in a certain setting, I'd be able to do that. So... So again, I guess if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and check me out on Instagram and Facebook at Planetary Lapidary. And until next time, I'll, I'll uh, see you in the next one.